Now let's go back to the checklist and put our documents together. Make two piles of documents. Originals go in pile number one and refer to the items with three stars on the checklist for pile number two. Print out two copies of your passport application. Remember, do not sign the application yet. It will be signed in front of a passport acceptance agent at a courthouse or some post offices later in the process. You'll need a passport photo. These can be taken at CVS, Walgreens, or Kinko's. Remember not to wear white clothing, headgear, glasses, or uniforms. Only one photo is needed. Next, you'll need proof of U.S. citizenship, which can be an original U.S. birth certificate, an expired U.S. passport, or an original naturalization certificate. There's also a government fee, a check or money order payable to the U.S. Department of State. Do not abbreviate the word department. Your proof of identity is a photocopy front and back of a valid U.S. driver's license or state-issued ID issued more than six months ago. For IDs issued less than six months ago, visit the Helpful Resources section of our website. Now it's time to stop and contact a passport specialist. 